Hello and welcome to Pokemon Ruby Destiny Part 73. Yes, that's right, two parts in two weeks. It's a miracle, and if we're lucky, there may even be a third part right after this one. So, without any further ado, let's get right into it. We are in the eighth and final gym, the Morient City Gym, with Pokemon of all types and sizes, and trainers that are all cool trainers. Um... Uh, at the end of the last part, we beat many of these guys, but there are many more where that came from as we spiral to toward the final gym leader battle. Um, as we've already determined, uh, these gym trainers are fellow hackers and friends of the uh, creator of this hack. As is this, and it's fire on fire. So we've seen a lot of fire types so far. It's possible that, but not exclusively fire types. So I don't know if that's just a coincidence or if there's perhaps a fire type sub theme going on a little bit. But I think Celio and is definitely going to be an asset here. Unfortunately, Celio is not quite good enough to take out a Charizard in one hit, but uh, definitely wearing it down. Celia went first last time. Must have been the Quick Claw. Oh, that noise. Ah. Thank you, Game Freak, for getting rid of it. Ooh, Slash. That's fitting. Um. Hmm. Wild Blazer can moves are bad, but... I don't really see Slash in as, a, as an improvement over any of those. Double Kick does more damage. Um, I mean, critical hits are nice and all. Ooh, okay. Sandstream. Will Sir... Ooh, it does damage on the first turn even. I forgot about that. Will Surf take it out? Probably not. Yeah, I wish it was double weak to water, but Tyrant. Oh, it did. Oh, critical hit. That is nice. Sorry, Tyrantar. Maybe next time. So, you probably can't hear it, because, um. But the volume is actually very loud. Um. As I mentioned last time, I'm sort of struggling to find a sound setup that works. So I have the microphone very close to my mouth, uh, the laptop putting out quite a bit of noise. Um, unfortunately, I can't really get a good way to mix them. Um, like I said, with my next playthrough, I will definitely put in more effort and create a setup that actually works. But this will have to do while my ears get blown out. Speaking of ears, I've had a bit of an ear infection lately, but... That is healing, luckily. And, well, while I went on about irrelevant stuff, I moved through an entire trainer battle. So, I think we have maybe three more to go? Yeah. Has that happened before? Like I said, it's been several years, but I believe that's happened before. The Bulbasaurus cry in this game is, well, bugged, to say the least. Yeah, make it stop. I'm guessing that wasn't quite as loud for you as it was for me, but that was very particularly loud and annoying. So yeah, I'm sort of used to Gardevoir being a fairy type, but, uh, well, in this game it's not. So this is a very losing matchup. This is much less of a losing matchup. Please don't critical. Oh, that, that works. When do I get cross chop? That's what I want to know. Double kick actually isn't that bad. It's 60 power. I mean, that's semi usable in third gen, I guess. Ooh, okay. This is going to be painful. Oh, trick. Well, that's not going to be painful at all. Why would it fail? Does Blaziken not have an item? Remind me to give Blaziken an item. Okay, that's the painful part. Whatever. 
Uh, Blaze King's level 42. Where I want the XP to go is, let's say, Swallow. Can Swallow I'll pass Alexam? Probably not. Oh, he can. Fantastic. Please don't use Recover. Oh, that's, that's not Recover. I almost forgot Alexam had Recover. Is it just me, or... It seems like this is less XP overall than in the later games. When they when they treat the XP in 5th gen, did they increase it overall? I guess they might have. Of course, it's sort of hard to tell because this is a hack and everything's messed up, but it just doesn't seem like that much EXP. Battle Fire must be another hack. Vada mentions a fire here. It does seem to be a bit of a sub theme. Okay, Gardevoir should be first and should two hit KO. Oh, Pidgeot. I wish Pidgeot was good. It, it should be a cool Pokemon, really, but it being the evolution of something. Something you get so near the start and just really neglected overall. So sad. Yeah, there's so many Pokemon that deserve way more than what they get from Game Freak. But, oh well. Please hit. Of course not. Scyther deserves a signature move. Like, I mean, obviously it's better in later gens with the more bug type moves and everything, but it needs a signature. I mean, Metal Claw doesn't count. You know, something like a twin scythe or something. That's a bad idea, but you get what I mean. I mean, Scyther is so popular and it's such a nice design that. Ugh. Wow, Gardevoir. Uh, sorry, Gardevoir. Gyarados' special attack really is terrible. I was going to say something about the physical special split, but of course, Hydro Pump always will be a special move, so yeah. At least in um, future gens, you know, Gyarados can use Waterfall and things like that. Waterfall has probably been the move with the most changes, from basically a complete throwaway in first gen, uh, a Goldeen only move, to an HM and then made physical to actually be probably one of the better uh, better water physical moves. Probably the most common water physical move actually, now that I think about it. Oh, friends through the internet. What an amazing world we live in. You know, people all around the world. It's It's just amazing. Spark. Really? Spark? When do I get Thunderbolt? I mean, I'm level 41. It has to be soon. Oh, Azumarill. I'll always have a soft spot for Azumarill, although I think the fairy thing didn't really work out for it very well. Well, it's not level 42, I guess. Shedinja is Bug Ghost. You know what? I'm going to roar it. Does Bite... Is Dark good against Ghosts? I think it is, actually. What? I should have just used Bite. I will just use Bite. Why am I... Oh, because I used Roar last turn. I was going to say, why did I go slower than Shedinja? Shedinja is really slow. Oh, come on. Um... Swallow. Won't be able to shadow bomb me. Not that it will anyway, I'm faster, of course. Oh, come on, not this. Really? Bye bye, one hit point. Well, I mean, the next is the gym leader, so I'm gonna have to 
Yeah, really? God, that's a mattress. Slam. Oh god. Um. Okay, I'm gonna endeavor, I guess. Leaf blade? Oh. I remember cool trainers being smarter than this. Why are Pokemon still getting Slam? Slam seems like one of the moves that should have gone out of fashion after first gen, like Mega Punch or something like that. You know, what is it? 80 power, 80 accuracy? Normal type? Come on. You can do better than that. Well, the, uh, the gauntlet is down, so... It looks like there's just one step to go. Um, I'm actually going to pause and not inflict this on you. So I will be back and see you at the gym later. Here we are. Final gym badge. It's going to be a fun one. Let's go through the ritual. I know it's a hack. I know I can save state, but better safe than sorry. Let's see. Who's my lead? I really have no idea what type she's going to use. Well, everyone's level 42. Okay. I saw a lot, a lot of fire types, so I'm going to start with Celio. Wait, who are you? Oh, she's, she's, oh yeah, she was the one in Fire Cave, okay. So this is really it before the League, huh? All the evil teams are dead, everything, all of that. Well... Let's do it then. Six on five. It is a fire type. It's exactly what I'm looking for. Does Celio have thick fire? Uh, shift. Does Celio have um, thick fat? I can't remember. It does. Okay. Just gonna say otherwise it's not resistant to fire, but this should be a very good matchup. Oh, you're gonna do it that way, huh, Nine Tails? Well, I guess it's better than Confuser. Oh. Well, one down. Ooh, so close. Okay. Yeah, that's not going to work so well. Um, and she is all types, not just fire. This is going to work a lot better. I'm sure I've told you the story of how I've beaten Red Pikachu before, so I won't do that again. Will she switch? I'm gonna go no. Quick attack. Double team. Really? Come on. And why is double earthquake affected by double team again? Bring on more realistic Pokemon, I say. Well, here's another game that didn't exist at all. Uh, two years and two episodes ago, Pokemon Fighters, the uh, 3D Pokemon fighting game, or semi-3D. It's sort of weird, you know, it's half uh, half 2D, half 3D. Um, but I've always thought there should be more games like that. You know, when I first heard of Stadium, I thought it would be like that. It would be a 3D, you move your Pokemon around, you use your moves. And I mean, it's sort of shocking to me that there's never really been anything proper like that in the Pokemon world. But, I don't know. I, I almost wish it had been less of a traditional... Oop, Hyper Beam. Watch out. Ugh, that seems so weak. I liked the, um, the, the second gen Hyper Beam animation, even the first gen. It's a loud noise, a big bang. Instead of this, it's just... Blah, 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 blah. I mean, that's not a Hyper Beam. Come on. But anyway, Pokemon Fighters. I wish it was less of a traditional 2D... I know... It, the gameplay comes from Tekken, and even the name is Tekken. But I wish it was 3D. You know, you move, you use your moves. None of this... Eh, not a big fan of 2D fighters. Um, Smash is an exception, but... Actually, I don't even call them 2D fighters. Smash is a 2D fighter. Stuff like Tekken and Street Fighter... I think those are one-dimensional fighters. They're not, you know, you're not really moving in two dimensions. You're moving on the ground. You can jump. That's about it. 
Smash is a 2D fighter. Tekken is a 1D fighter. So, that's my silly opinion of the day. So, this, this battle is going rather well. Takedown was a... Ooh! So about, I was about to stop saying it was a bad move because it almost was a one hit KO. But it's going to turn out to be a bad move because it gives me a two hit KO. And this battle is moving on rather rapidly now. Um, taking down another fully evolved starter and just one Pokemon to go. And it's Umbreon. Another one of my old favorites. So best to wear it down. Uh, please take my Oh, yeah. Synchronize, of course. Please take my metric down so I have to stop healing that really loud and obnoxious noise. Thank you. Okay. Um, Blaziken should do it. Kick it until it's down. That sounds like a strategy to me. Should I do bulk up? Nah. Kick it until it's down. Had it right the first time. Okay, so that's a three hit KO. I guess I should have bulked up because that would have made it into a two hit KO. But I'm going to win anyway, even if it has Psychic, which it doesn't. There's no way Umbreon can do enough damage to me. Yeah, all I have is French. So I guess this is going to be the last time I hear this music during the playthrough, unless there's another weird semi gym leader thing going on. So, enjoy it. I like the Ruby Gym Leader music. Oh, of course, a Hyper Potion. I should have known. I mean, I like almost all the Gym Leader music. Um, main exception being Second Gym. Speaking of music, um, another item of Pokemon news recently that uh, Game Freak is releasing an iOS app with the music. Now, this would be something, as a huge fan of Pokemon music, this would be something I'm very interested in with two main problems. One, it's Japan only, because of course Game Freak says screw you, not Japan. Second is 120 yen a song. Now that's a little more than a dollar at current exchange rate. I mean, okay, for one thing, I have the Pokemon games already. If I really wanted them on my phone, I could play the game and record it. Another thing is we have YouTube, we have OST downloads, we have literally probably hundreds of different ways to get the song for free. Now if maybe it was 10 cents per song, that would be, you know, I would consider that. I want to support Game Freak, I want to support the composers, and I like Pokemon music. But a dollar per song? I mean, these new OSTs, there's more than 100 songs. Come on, that's just ridiculous. I just, uh... It's so frustrating being a Pokemon fan sometimes. There's so much potential and so much good stuff. And then you just think, ah. Uh, another, ah. Uh, one word hyper beam. Come on. Make way for the ultimate destination. Pokemon League is located in Marina Island just over the falls in Ultima City. Now I am pulling up my map that you've never seen and maybe you will soon. But I happen to remember that Ultima City is actually the very second city we visited. Um, it's through one of the exits in Bug Forest. Uh, so I'll try to find if I can fly back there. If not, I guess I'll have to walk. But yeah, it's very close to the beginning. So no grand adventure. Of course, we'll have Victory Road. But uh, we should be there momentarily. So... Um, as I promised, uh, this is the end of part 72, but in just a couple minutes, I am going to head off, no surprises, no storyline, I'm going to head off to Elite Four. See you there in a couple minutes.